not bad, not bad. I think we are somewhat familiar with U state and hooks in general. So why don't we set up a state value with array and in the process we'll work on the little challenge. So you'll need to go to zero three use state array, basically imported of course in app JSX, and then navigate to the file. In there, I want you to import data. And don't worry, I'll show you where the data is located. But then I want you to set up state value. And the default is going to be the data you're importing. Now it's going to be a list. And I want you to render that in the browser. Again, something we already covered, how we can access the value, iterate over and then display the results in a browser. Now don't worry about CSS. Again, that is totally irrelevant. If you can set up the logic, it's going to be already an awesome result. And then once you can render the list in the browser, this is an extra challenge, I want you to create two functions, one that clears the entire list. And second one, which removes the single item from the list and just to showcase what we're looking for. And you know, what? by the way, before the data is sitting over here. So if you navigate to the root, you'll see data JS. And in here we have this array. So this is what I want you to import in that component. And then first render it in the browser. Now as far as our final result, let me just copy and paste here. I'm gonna call this final Again, make sure that you, of course, import the correct component. And in here, I just want to change this to final. And let's also take a look what we have. So essentially, this should be your result. Like I said, don't worry about the CSS. Effectively, you just want to render the name, the button, and also a button to clear all the items. So if you click, you remove that specific person from the list, if you click on clear items, obviously, we are removing all of them. And once you're done, resume with the videos. So let me first start by doing a bit of spring cleaning. We won't need that. And then or you know what, I will actually leave. So I'm not going to render that component, but I'll leave this one just in case. Next time I need to access some final component, I already have the code. I just need to change the path. And then we want to navigate to use state array in the star over here. And essentially, let's start by getting the data. Let's jog our memory how we can do that using ES6 modules. So in here, we want to go with import. Now this is a named one. So we go with data, I already know, that's the name. And notice, we right away have the correct suggestion where it is located. And then second, I know I'm going to be setting up the state value. And just to hammer this home, I will set up my state value with react dot use state. And then pretty much for the rest of the course, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to import use state. So first, let's go here with import. And we want to look for react. Okay, that's awesome. And then let's go with const. And that is equal to people. So this is what I'm going to be setting up and then set people. So one is the state value. And then the second one is the function that controls it. And let's go over here with react dot. So react dot and then we're looking for use state. And what is default value? Well, passing the data. And now we want to essentially set up our return. So at the moment, we have heading two instead we're going to have a div. And we're going to iterate over. So I'll say people map. And just so you don't think that I'm making this up, I'm just going to go with return. And you know what, for now, let's just go with heading four. And let's call this item. What I'm interested in is the person why well, because that's going to give me access to this object. So if I navigate to data, check it out. So I have here ID and name. So this is what I'm going to log over here. So log. And let's look for the person. Let's save. So 
notice we have four items. Okay, that's awesome. And also, I'll see over here the object. Now we do have the warning, each child, and all that stuff. Don't worry, we'll fix that in a second. So why don't we pull out both of those properties? We'll say over here, ID, and the person. And that is equal to our person, right? Or I'm sorry, this is not person, this is name, my bad. So we pull these ones out. I don't think we need a log anymore. Or let me just leave it here for your reference. And then let's go with our div. And we right away want to set up the key. So let's set it up here over here. Key, and that is equal to my ID. And then inside of it, we want to go with heading four. And let's just render the name. And if everything is correct, we shouldn't see any warnings in the browser. And we have nicely rendered our list in the browser. So that's the first step. And up next, we're going to work on removing the items from the list.